distance. Tyler Thomas, 91 T car, last night's feature event winner, starting deep in this one on the outside of road number three. We tighten them up. Green flag comes out. We're underway. Will Sneaky Poo with the green flag. Ronnie Gardner up to the point. He's going to catch some company out of the number 50 car. Big run down to the inside. Here comes Daniel Adler. Adler working her down low. No slide job. That's a drive job to the number one spot. Back now, Gardner comes down to the inside. Rip and flip comes the 91 T car. Tyler Thomas to the outside of Holly Holland, who incidentally started tail the field. 67 cars already dug her way around. Four cars. She's working on two more three wide for the number three spot. She'll kiss one out of the way and move into fourth for Holland. And Holland could Continues to keep company with Tyler Thomas. Thomas quick, though, working the middle of the racetrack. Into the number three spot, three-car cluster battle taking place for the number five positions. They are still three wide down into the corner onto the back straightaway. Comes the 37, trying to squirt out of that one. Going to give up a spot, or will he cross over down to the inside? Nope, give the nod to the 97A Austin O'Dell. As Holland goes on the attack one more time. Battle for second, third, and fourth on the field. Ronnie Gardner trying to hold him off. Holland going to hike up the donuts on the front end of the number 67 car down the inside. She's got a lot of traction for action, but can't quite make a move on the 91T car. Tyler Thomas is up front, the 50 car, putting the laps into the books. Three to go that time by the starter, Stan for Adler. Make that two to go. He's quicker than the timing I got on my uh, iPad. Here comes the white flag. Thomas challenging on Gardner for the number two spot. He'll try her to the outside. No! going to be able to drop the nose though. That real estate is occupied by the back bumper. Ronnie Gardner checkered flag comes out up front for Adler. He'll pick up the win and Gardner's going to hang on to second. Thomas in the number three spot. Holly Holland from the tail of the field will finish out fourth. In this one, Austin O'Dell, Carter Sarf, and Brock Hanel and Justin Dickerson. The eight cars in heat race number one. We'll put that one into books. Move on to the deuce. Heat race number two. Camfield, Trudson on the front row. Camfield down on the inside. Set to light this one off. Gas it up. Trudson got shuffled out wide, three wide for the number two spot before we even got to the starter stand. Look out, almost got chicken whipped into the wall for Trudson. Finds herself under full scale. Tagged by a giant cloud of flying monkeys out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. She's going to give up two more spots. Trudson's got to get back down to the inside as everybody's powering on through. Meanwhile, up front is Camfield. Your race leader, slide job down into the corner, and that was a short little entrance for Jesse Colwell. Look out, little contact. Both of them get ambushed by Dom in the 5D car. Zach Dom came to play ball here tonight. Colwell comes up, lays a tire on him. Dom will shrug that one off, and that's going to tick him off again. Jesse Colwell coming out of the outlaw carts in California. They drive a little different out there on the uh, left-hand side of the country. He's in the number three spot. He's going to have to try to run down Nason personally up front. He's going after Camfield. It's all over him down in turn number three and four. Drops the nose on, trying to charge the inside. Camfield so far has been solid in that P1 position. Jill Hostel, the 86 C car out of turn number two and down to back shoot. Caldwell's closing on him. Top three is separated. Zach Dom not able to run him down in the five D car. Caldwell working a tick lower. Keeping her gassed up. Down on the berm. Down the back straightaway. Bring it around. Be white flag. This time for your race leader, Camfield, up front, who so far is uncontested the number one spot. Dason ran him down. Just can't get a grip on him. Right now, Camfield slipperier than a snake in a barrel of butter, apparently. Here comes the checkered flag. We're going to give the heat race number two of the number 86 seed car. Player personally will go second. Colwell third. Zach Tom fourth. Shelby Mosey, Max Gilford, Presley Trutson. Rounding out those cars thus far. And I'd say watch Zach Dom as we head back into the pits. Boom. There it is. I knew that was going to happen. I don't know where that came from. Green flag comes out, and away we go. Anna McIntosh is quick like a little bunny rabbit out front. Here comes Newman, no three end car. Got everything plugged in. Wheels up. Down the back straightaway. Newman's going after the number one spot. Three end car down the inside. McIntosh slams the door in his face and says, nay, nay, not going to happen that time down into the corner. And look, yeah, caution flag comes out. We got a spinner down the corner. Jesse, 58,000, less than the blink of an eye, separating them as they crossed over the stripe. Green flag comes out. McIntosh rolls into the throttle, does not drive away from the field like Tyler Thomas was doing last night. Newman's going to coast her around the top side onto the back straightaway. The three end cars, the top two, have broken away from Devin Canfield. 17C car holding down the number three spot. 
side-by-side action. Back down, here comes Daniel Robinson, the number 11 car. Robinson, a little crossover. Got company out of McCarthy down the inside. We'll leave him behind. And now move top shelf. And that four-car battle taking place onto the front straightaway. Tremendous. Newman can't run down McIntosh up front. Forget about them for a while. Here goes the 97K. Jesse Love into the number three spot. Look at a slider through the middle. Thread in the eye of the needle with the old greased weasel maneuver for the number 11 to Daniel Robinson. That was glorious. McCarthy comes right back at him. Delacroix Tornado down on the inside trying to twist it up. The number 28 car and get himself back around to number 11. Not going to happen for him. The 97K car trying to run down their front two runners. He's got three, soon to be two laps to go. This next time across the starter stand. Love not able to close. That battle continues to ensue between the number 11 Robinson and McCarthy. McCarthy now looking out wide as the white flag comes out. Got another lap to get the job done for the number 28 car. Up front, it's all fence post formation for the top three. And here comes Ace down off the bank. And a little gravity to the inside. Look out. Had to slam on the binders right there on the number 11 car. They'll finish across the strike. Give the nod to Robinson as he'll pick up the number four spot. McCarthy just couldn't quite get the job done to number five. Up front, it's Cannon McIntosh picking up the win. From wire to wire for the 0-0 car, McIntosh, Jake Newman goes second, Jesse Love, your top three in heat race number three, your final heat race for the Power Eye Lucas Oil National Midget League, and that's going to be... I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time to drop the ha <laughs> Oh, here we go. Mason personally goes to the cushion instantly down. Turn number one and two is going to take over the race lead down the back straightaway. He'll slice around the outside of Adler in the number 50 car. Come down, try to run low on the racetrack. Four wide back beyond Tyler Thomas, a little bit of contact. Able to blaze off a Colwell in the number 71 car, shrugged him off and smacked him back down. He'll go on the attack now on the number 67 car, Holly Holland. Holland rolling along in the number four spot. Meanwhile, up front, it's the 50 car. Daniel Adler onto the point. Hot pursuit for Newman's right on his back bumper out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Closes the win about a car length and a battle for the race lead ensues onto the front straightaway. Watch Newman into turn number one and two. Hot on his heels, follows in the tire tracks, out of two and down the back straightaway, and then you got a little bit of a gap back to Dason first, and he's still holding down third. Newman slide job down in turn number three and four. Right back to the inside goes Adler, and right back to the point for the 50. Newman, another slide job down into one to two. Ba bam, here comes Adler down to the inside. He'll keep him company in the turn number three and four. Adler bounces off the apron of the racetrack. Newman around the outside, he's got the number one spot. We'll call that one a done deal. Look out, he whacked the cushion with the right rear tire and whipped himself into the wall. Meanwhile, slider for the number three spot. Here comes Tyler Thomas going to work on Dason Persley. Persley able to power out of it. Thomas grabs a little gravity onto the front straightaway, looks to the inside. Pulls up next to Dason Persley. A little short, nice drive by there for the 91 T car. Persley trying to come back at him down the inside. He'll run her deep into turn number three and to the wall he goes. Thomas right back to the inside, back to the number three spot. Caution flag comes out. Caution flag comes out, apparently pulled a hole into the atmosphere. And the oxygen left the infield. They had to throw a caution flag. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm going to shorten them up and run them. Cannon McIntosh having issues there with the 08 car, already making his way back into the pit area. So it must have been a slow one on top side of the racetrack, and I missed it. So you see him dragging a brake on it. He's getting set to go. Throttle. And we're underway. Down low for Tyler Thomas, going to try to hump the hub. And look out, out across, Dason Persley. Persley back down to the inside of the 91T car. Gave him room to roam. And that was a very polite run for Dason Persley. He's off the banking and off the cushion to the outside. Holly Holland's there. He'll come down and clip the uh, front end of the number 67 car, throw a slider at Dason. And Holly gets tied up a little bit tangled. That battle coming from back behind. Zach Dom, the dominator, he'll drive out across the number 67 car. She easily crosses him back down the inside. Dom, a little hard to recognize these new hot rods with Caldwell right on the tail tank out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two cars, maybe. Jesse Colwell was feeling rambunctious and tried to throw a slider on two of them. He got one and then had to give it right back again. As Holly Holland leads Dom down the back straightaway. Dom got the right tires up onto the cushion onto the back stretch walls. Meanwhile, up front, 
Hustle along for all he's worth. And Jake Newman laid a big old gap on Daniel Adler in the number 50 car. The 50 running second on the field. Looks like he's leading the charge as Newman's already caught up to the back of the field and is looking to put a couple cars a lap down. Still hammer around the cushion down in turn of one and two. And yeah, on the back straightaway. Watching Colwell. Might be able to get a run on Dom here before it's all said and done. Meanwhile, Newman starting to slicey dicey his way. Gets around the 21D at Dickerson and puts him a lap down. By the wayside, a little cushion of comfort between himself and the number 50 car, Daniel Adler. Adler still running second. Has looked out off the pace? Maybe not. Tyler Thomas was slow getting into three and four, and I don't know exactly what was going on there, if he was tightening these belts or what. But he gave up some distance as Lolly Holland makes a little engagement with Dason personally down turn number two. Nine car, corner pocket. Oh, over goes Holland. Whoa, got whipped into the cushion. That baby brought her around. It bit, and over goes the number 67 car in Holly Holland has capsized the unit in turn number three and four as we'll go out and check on her. For Newman up front. He'll start him down low yet again. Gasses that baby onto the front straightaway. Here comes Adler down on the inside. Tyler Thomas off to go top shelf as does Jason Persley. Little shot in the shorts. For the lap traffic out, Tyler Thomas, he's trying to get through there, opens up the gap down on the inside. Colwell can't capitalize. Dason on the attack for the number three spot, goes down to the inside. Big slider out across the nose, clips the whiskers of Tyler Thomas in the 91 T car, now knocking back into the number four spot. Now here comes Zach Dom, Dominator. Gloves have come off for the 5D car. He'll throw a slider on the 91 T. And meanwhile, down on the inside, there's Terry Babb working the tires. As we got contact, not over for Dom. Oh, a little hippity hoppity onto the back straightaway. He gets it back in, and Bab picked them both off. Bab in the 88 car has gone to the number five spot, and he has worked the tires ever so slowly this entire time. You talk about a patient run down on the inside of the racetrack. Terry Bab is gaining on the top three, working the bottom at about a half a mile an hour. Meanwhile, up top, they're slinging and zinging around in their little four cylinders as they got them singing a merry tune down the back straight away. Turn number three and four. Now, Colwell looking to the outside. Bab down low. Still hanging on to the number four spot. He's got to hustle it up. Look, out, almost clipped the tire. That'll cost him some time. And Colwell will get around the outside. Top four of singled out top shelf. Bab running fifth down low. And here comes Dominator Zach Dom out of turn number four and down the front straight away with we got, well, looks like 11 laps to go that time by. Well, up front, here comes a run for the number two spot. 91 T car threw a big slider on Adler. And Thomas down to the inside is going to try it again. Another haymaker into turn number one and two. And now has got P2 away for the number 50 car. Now has to run down Newman. Newman with a big old straightaway advantage over the 91 T. The three in already working in the lap traffic. This time out turn number two and down the back straightaway. And Thomas, though, has put her under full sail. Down the back shoot in turn number three and four. Trying to clip off some distance last time across. The split was about three points. 3 seconds. This time across, it's 2.7. He's coming. He's coming. Tyler Thomas has run down the race leader. Meanwhile, Jesse Caldwell with the slowest slider I've ever seen out across turn number one and two. It's like he was caught in time. He'll do it again today. So personally down turn number three and four. Personally turns it back down to the inside. You can see that coming from a mile away. See if he can gather him back together again. Dason just too quick around the lip for the number nine car. And here comes Colwell. And that's a little faster down into the corner. And again, Dason turns him back down to the inside. That's a great battle taking place. Terry Babs come off the bottom. Now he goes top shelf. The number 88 car still hanging tough in the number six spot. We'll roll him onto the front straight away. Adler. Under attack, here comes Dason down to the inside. Another slide job out across. Colwell comes the call. There goes the tussle down to turn number two and down into turn number three and four. How about a double driver out across? And Colwell couldn't capitalize. Oh, my. Dason's going to throw another one at him. Just keeps his foot to the mat and drives her down into the corner. Colwell might be able to pick off the number nine car. Adler has a scop aid into turn number three and four. There's Colwell the slider on Dason now. Dason back down to the inside. Meanwhile, Tyler Thomas is still trying to close on the number three car. He is now within about, we're going to call it, five car lengths down into turn number one and two. Your race leader across has got a handful of laps, or I'm sorry, two laps remaining. His time has just about run out. As Blake Anderson would say, the hourglass has run low as Jake Newman takes it down into turn number one and two for his final voyage of velocity here at Megan Speedway. This one went very quickly. Tyler Thomas closed, but not close enough to get the number one spot away from Newman as he will be victorious tonight. The three end car, Jake Newman going to victory lane. Tyler Thomas has finished out the number two spot. Third is going to go to Daniel Adler in the number 50, and that's your podium finish.
here tonight. Colwell finished out fourth on the field. Jason personally fifth. And you got Terry Babb all the way up to the number six spot for the number 18 starting position for that hard charger in the 88 car. Zach Dom is seventh. Carter Sarf is eighth. Daniel Robinson and Shelby Bosey rounding out your top ten. Race fans, get out of the car now. How about it one more time for your AMA winner, Mr. Jake Newman. We'll step over front here and have a word with you. You were knocking on the door early in the A-Main. You're finally able to run away with that one. Did you have any idea how close Tyler was there late? Uh, I had some kids up here telling me I had a pretty good gap, and then later I saw him throw a slider on, I don't know if it was me or a lap car, and uh, I started pushing it a little harder, driving it harder, and pulled away from him a little bit. So uh, just be consistent and don't mess up on the cushion because it's – it's pretty treacherous. I was about to ask you just how tricky was this racetrack tonight. There was lap traffic all over the place. First visit for the year here to the Mighty Making Speedway. I certainly delivered. Oh, yeah. I love this place. Had good runs last year, and I just couldn't make it happen. And, uh, I mean, the track, it was – I was about half throttle in the corners just trying not to buzz the tires. So we were good and should have had one last night, but it was uh, our fault. So Your second in points, and I know to be able to run this entire campaign, there's a lot of big people to make your effort possible. Yeah, I can't thank Brant, Power Eye, and all my crew guys. Uh, couldn't do it without them. And going to Peavely next week and see if we can get another one. Another two-day weekend, as he mentioned. I'm one more time for Jake Newman. Come over here and talk to Tyler Thomas. You win. Last night, come home second. Tonight, obviously, not a bad run. You're able to charge through the field there late with lap traffic. Yeah, uh, lap traffic was uh, pretty pretty challenging there tonight. You know, just guys don't, not sure where they're going to go and trying to zig when they're not when they're zagging. So it's it makes it tricky, uh, you know. But uh, Jake did a really good job. Uh, I thought we had there had something there at the end without lap traffic, but uh, you know it is what it is. A person in the second ain't bad, so we'll try and get two in a row at Peebly next week. Certainly, Peebly a good track for you. Move on to their next weekend, Mr. Daniel Adler. Step on over here. You're able to start on the pole. Uh, probably not the result you're you're hoping for. Obviously, you start up front, want to finish up front, but you come home with a podium finish. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, first off, I gotta give all the glory to God. Uh, without him, we wouldn't be here having the fun that we are. So uh, we've had to try a couple seasons here. So starting on pole was uh, pretty nice and finish on podium is cherry on top. So I got to give a hand off, hand, uh, handshake to my guys behind me. Without them, uh, I wouldn't be staying here. So this is awesome. Congratulations on a great third place run. Fantastic feature event tonight for the Lucas Hill Power Eye National Midgets. Micros are up next to the Speedway for their A-Main. <laughs> 